In a world of electronic books and online newspapers, some still long for the real thing. For them, Serena Altschul has the details of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. When the Founding Fathers drafted the Declaration of Independence in 1776, this copy was printed in Salem, Massachusetts. It was printed to convey the news to a very specific audience. It wasn't intended to survive. But it did survive. This is one of six remaining originals from that printing, and it could be yours for around a million dollars. It always gives me goosebumps. Christina Geiger is head of the Books and Manuscripts Department at Christie's Auction House in New York. She's overseeing the auction of the private collection of William Reese, a celebrated bookseller who died in 2018, leaving behind a significant personal collection of printed Americana. Items up for grabs include Paul Revere's engraving of the Boston Massacre, a first edition of the travels of Captains Lewis and Clark, and rare bird engravings by John James Audubon. When these items and about 700 more are auctioned off starting next month, it will be historic. It will be the most significant sale in its category of print Americana and travel since the late 1960s. Wow. Estimated to bring in between 12 and 18 million dollars, this treasure trove took over 40 years for Reese to amass, all while helping others build their own collections. How important was Bill Reese in the world of book collecting and dealing? He was really the most important bookseller of his generation. I think, I, I don't think that can be challenged. Nick Aratakis leads the Americana Department at the William Reese Company in New Haven, Connecticut. He says Reese developed a keen eye at a young age. His first major sale was in college when he found a rare map of Mexico at a rug auction and sold it to Yale for the remainder of his tuition. The joke now is that it was one of the rare times that Bill ever undervalued something. So he kept his diary. He we got to see a few pieces currently for sale here. Talks about Reynolds. This is the famed pamphlet by Alexander Hamilton in which he admits to an affair with Mariah Reynolds. A story you may be familiar with after its debut on Broadway. Alexander Hamilton had a torrid affair. It's gone up in value about 10 times since the musical came out. Then there are the journals of a Union soldier in the Civil War. You can't get more immediate than these and more moving. For William Reese, it seems 40 years wasn't nearly enough time spent connecting people to books. Why do you think he wanted to auction his personal collection? He thought it was very important that um, dealers and collectors are only temporary custodians of, of, of an item, that you own it only for a short time, that eventually it comes back into the market and a whole new generation of dealers and collectors have the opportunity to buy that. An opportunity to share a passion for the past.